Hi there, this is Jill Woods from Crowd Connections, and this is a short video just explaining how to use the broken link checker plugin for WordPress. Um, just to show you how this works, I'm going to use this website, Helen Pateman, mono printing and liner cut artist, who's a good friend and a, a great artist. Um, they're on our website, there are lots and lots of different links um, linking to other websites, to images, to download documents, all sorts of things. Um, so you can see here, this image is a link. Um, there's all sorts of text links here that take me to other pages on the website. Um, these links that take me to, through to the blog pages. Um, buttons here that take me to other places on the website. So um, there are lots and lots of links and sometimes they get broken. Either um, the URL hasn't been entered correctly or if it's a link to an external site, that site gets changed or, or, or take, taken down altogether. So for various reasons, these links get broken. And if you come to your website and start clicking on links that don't then work, um, clearly that one does, but if you click on a link that doesn't work, then it just makes your site look amateur and doesn't look professional. So it's a really good idea to keep on top of all of those links on your website. But doing that manually is incredibly time consuming. So this plugin here, um, the broken link checker plugin is a great one for keeping um, on top of those links for you. Um, so if you go to wordpress.org and into their plugin directory, you'll find it in there under broken link checker. Um, you can see down here, um, always something to look at when you're looking at plugins is when was it last updated? So very, very recently. Um, and how many downloads are there and what are the ratings? And that's a usually a good indication of it being a good quality plugin that's going to be useful to you. Um, so once you've downloaded that and activated it onto your website, as we've done here on Helen's, if we go to the dashboard and go to the install plugins, you'll see it here, broken link checker, um, and it's active, so which is great. You can click on settings and there's various elements here that you can tell it um, how often to check, whether you want it to send you an email every time it it finds a broken link or not. Um, it does alert you to these broken links on the website itself, um, so you don't necessarily need emails clogging up your inbox. If you click on the tools drop down, you'll see here broken links. It's telling us there are four broken links at the moment on the website. Um, and equally, if I go to my dashboard, it automatically puts a section into your dashboard with the broken link checker here, and again, it's telling me there are four broken links here. So there are multiple ways you can find out that there are broken links that need some sort of action. So here we go. If you click on the link to found four broken links here, it will take you to a list. Um, and this will show you um, all of the different links that it's found. And it gives you the status for each of those links and what the problem is. So it's saying here we've got a timed out link. So possibly that link is, is okay, but for some reason had through a little blip. This one's saying no, that's definitely that server can't be found. So there's something wrong with the URL of that. And then this connection failed again. So there's something wrong with the URL that's been entered. So um, we can then go through individually um, and look at these and see what the problem is. If you click on the link itself, it should, in theory, connect you to whatever that the source of that link is. Um, and where these are timed out, there's a good chance that that will actually connect us to an image yet. So it's working fine, um, but just for some reason, when the broken link checker went to check it, um, it wasn't working for some reason. So um, we can go back to our broken links um, and we can say we can double check by going to the actual page so the source column here shows you the page where the links exist and if you click on view that will take you to the page um, and if you scroll down usually where it's saying timed out um, when you look at the page itself somewhere down here yep yeah, that's the image we, it was saying it timed out so the images are there um, so that's fine we'll just go back to our broken links page. So in this instance we've checked it by clicking on the link and by looking on the page itself and we can actually if we hover over it gives us three options we can edit the URL we can unlink it so it would remove the link from the page altogether so our visitors are not experiencing a broken link but in this instance we can actually just say actually it's fine there is the, the link isn't broken so we just click not broken and it takes us 
um, takes that off the, off the list, which is great. Um, this one I suspect will be the same. Let's just quickly do it. Yep, it's saying there's the, the image, so that's fine. And if we go to, again, to um, view the page, you know what the image looks like. So we can scroll down through Helen's India adventure and there's the image. So we know it's there, so that's fine. So we go back and just simply say, no, it's not broken. Thank you very much. OK, now these two are quite different. Um, if we click on the link here where it's saying serve not found, it's going to throw up, hopefully. Yeah, so uh -uh, can't find that at all. So that's that's not good. So we go back to our broken links. So we know there's something wrong with the URL. And if we know immediately what it is, um, we can click on edit URL here and, and update it in the text here. Or if we feel we need to go to the actual page um, and look at the, the link on the page, you can click edit under the source page here. Um, I've just looked at this and you can clearly see it's just been mistyped. So I can edit the URL and I can just change that to .org, a jeep missed, and say update URL. And I can now say happy, let's just double check it, let's click on it and it takes us to Wells for India, so that's brilliant. So let's go back to the page. We know it's working now, so we just click not broken. And there we go, that's taken off as well. Okay, so we've got now connection failed. Let's have a look and see what this ha what happens here. So this will take us to, oops, that's somewhat embarrassing. We've got an error, that connection within the website isn't working. So let's go back to our broken link. Um, and we've got to figure out why this connection failed. So if I go to the actual page, which is Helen's blog on her visit to Glasgow recently, and click on edit. Um, I'm now looking at the link here um, and I can just see that all that's been missed is there's just an upload in November. So the November um, element of the, the link has been missed off there. So in theory now if I update that page, that's updated, and I go back to my dashboard. A bit slow connection, but it'll get there in a minute. There we go. And it's now saying, great stuff. Um, there's no broken links. So correcting that has, has got rid of it. OK, just one other thing I want to show you, um, and that is what a broken link looks like in the text of your website. Um, so here you can see we've got three broken links. Here's a link that's not broken, and here are three links that still highlight, but are shown with this line through them, which is just to let you and any visitors know that the link is broken. So if you do see this on your site, it's not that the text has gone funny, it's that the actual link isn't working properly, so you know you need to go in and edit it um, and just see what the problem is. Um, and, uh, and hopefully that should... Um, get rid of any of those spare, stray, broken links on your website. So hopefully that just gives you a little bit of insight in how to use um, the Broken Link Checker for WordPress. It's a great free plugin to use. It saves you a lot of time um, and saves your visitors a lot of, of, of unnecessary frustration with links that are not working on your website. So I hope you found that helpful and thank you very much for your time.